Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I wanted to talk about how to maintain your energy throughout the day. And the reason being is because I know I've been struggling or was struggling with um, trying to maintain my energy during the workday and wanting to sustain that focus throughout the day. So I was wondering what I was doing wrong and did a little research and started implementing those things. So let's get to it. So first things first, when I wake up, I do like to drink my water. Um, reason being is because our bodies are super dehydrated from being asleep all night and not having any kind of uh, liquid intake at least for me because I know if I'm drinking water at night then I'm not going to be able to go to sleep and all I'm going to be doing is going to be running to the restroom and getting rid of all that water that I just didn't took. Um, so again it's just being dehy dehydrated, <laughs> being hydrated not dehydrated and trying to, to make that a goal of eight glasses of water a day. I always have water next to me. I'm never letting my cup be low. So I've actually heard that it's a, a thing that triggers your brain that if you always have your cup filled, then you're more likely to drink out of it. I don't know if that's true, but I've been doing it because if I hear that something helps, then I'm going to do it. And if I think it's helping me, then I'm going to continue doing it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that on to you guys. Um, so another thing that I like to do is try to eat. I know I struggle with eating in the morning so my breakfast is usually small but at least it's something um i try to make a protein shake or some scrambled eggs or even um toast or a bagel um i'm okay with having heavy carbs in the morning but um usually i try to wing that in the evening because i know i'm not gonna be able to burn everything off so i try to not have any heavy carbs at night and i try to eat like i want to say two hours before bed just to make sure that it digests because i do have acid reflux as well but also because i want it to digest before i go to bed because it's so hard for me to go to sleep on a full stomach and that is not good for somebody who has um What's the word again? What did I mention? Um, acid reflex. So that's gonna be another video on foods um, regarding acid reflex and what I do when I get super nauseous and sick. So I'll note that. Um, so other than that, I obviously try to eat healthy. Um, during my lunch breaks, if I feel sleepy or if I just feel like I want to sustain my energy I try to go outside and feel nature I like to feel the fresh air go on a walk um, if I'm home working from home obviously I'm doing that now um, I do like to put on yoga on YouTube and do like a 10 minute stretch video um, another thing that I like to do is if I'm really, really sleepy and I'm too lazy to go on a walk, I do take like a 15 minute nap. And then the rest of my, my lunch time, I just try to eat something and then I'll jump back into the work routine. Um, another thing that I do is I try to avoid um, watching any type of blue screen. And what I mean by that, um, I mean like the blue light as in like phones, as in um, televisions. Um, I usually try to focus on reading like the actual books because that actually prepares my mind and body um, to go to sleep. It makes me really sleepy and sometimes I get a little frustrated because I'm reading like a really good book and I'll go ahead and mention it down below in the description. Um, it's really interesting and I love reading it but I always get so sleepy and again it's not because of the book it's just because when I start reading, it automatically tells my body like, okay, it's bedtime. Um, so that's just another way to, that helps me. I don't know, it might help you, but I know I do like, aside from reading books, I do like to take my baths as well, which calm me down and put me to sleep. Um, 
I do try to shoot for eight hours of sleep. I love sleep. I could sleep like probably 10 hours or more if I could. So I try to be in bed at least by 10. Um, and I try to be up around six, um, but it always ends up being seven. It should be six, but I love to sleep. But I don't know, I always try to do the Mel Robbins um, trick where you just count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and then just, you just do it, you snap out of it. Um, so I'll actually link that below as well if you want to read into that. Whew, I feel like I'm talking too fast. Okay, I have a lot to say, that's why. Um, Another thing that I had to do is set timers to take breaks. Um, so I could get lost into work and it could be three hours of, three to four hours of just nonstop work, no standing up, no walking away from the computer screen, um, which can be bad because I'm supposed to be working on the clock for eight hours and that's not good. So after my four hours mark, if I'm doing that, I'm doing this really hard code um, focusing then it's really hard for me to come back and maintain that focus. And I read it's because I'm not taking enough breaks. So what I started doing is I, I started um, setting timers for myself. There's like different variations of ways that you could um, set breaks. But me, I follow my HR rules and I make sure I take my like a split um, 20 minutes of break time. So I'll do 10 minutes sometime between 9 and 12 30 and then i'll do another 10 um, after one o'clock and 5 30. um it just depends on how i feel and when i want to take it again everybody's different so it's really up to you and it depends what how you want to take your break a uh, lastly that i would recommend would be um to be social me naturally i since I was a little girl, I like to say to myself, I, I, it took a lot of energy for me to want to go out and socialize. And I'm just, I was just very comfortable with, with being by myself. Um, but that's something I struggle with today. So being with people actually helps you get more energy. So if you're having a tough time um, staying awake, uh, maintaining your energy um, I recommend that you do FaceTime your friends or family and socialize yeah you don't have to be with them again social distancing um, but you could always FaceTime them I know that I love to FaceTime my nieces and um, I do love to FaceTime my sisters I also like to check in on my parents so um, they do all live in the same city as me but I hardly hang out with them. It's and when I do, it's not for that long. So it really helps when I'm feeling tired and um, not as sociable and just in a very low mood. Um, that helps me a lot. And my whole mood changes after I get off the phone with them. And then all of a sudden I have this whole new perspective on the amount of energy I have. And it's very interesting the way it works. That's all I have for you guys today. I will try my best to link resources that helped me out in maintaining my energy and whatever issues I found out that I have and that I needed to change in order to maintain that. So guys, please don't forget to follow me, subscribe if you like this content. Um, give me a thumbs up or down that it tells me whether you like the content that I am providing and all that helps a lot. So thank you and I appreciate you. See you next time.